Hi guys, my name is Gina Gemsville and welcome to The Sims Mobile. I am so excited for this, it is finally out in the stores. I will leave a link down below in the description to where you can get it from. In the last episode, the first episode of the series, we just created our first sim. We had a little look through the create a sim aspect of the game and we created a fairy dust and she is now moving in. This is her first house, it's a charming fixer upper which yeah, it definitely looks a little bit like a fixer-upper from this, doesn't it? The first thing that we need to do is to clear up this mess because, yeah, I mean, look at that toilet. It is, you know, it's leaking. It's not so good. We need to clear up these boxes. So if we just click on them, give them a kick, and they just pop down into flat packs. That's really quite handy. There is a little yellow arrow to follow along to and just click where it's telling you to click. So that's quite handy also now we need to click on this blanket i'm assuming there's going to be a sofa under there look at that portrait of her on the uh, on the wall there that's cool i want here's a lifestyle improved first furniture so as we progress through the game improving our lifestyle of our sims is i'm assuming something that we want to do it's not something that i know much about as yet but i'm sure as we go through the game we will figure it all out now we need to click on this which is oh it's a table and chairs a little dining room set we have no kitchen it looks like the bathroom and the bedroom are wrecked at the moment there's banana peel on the floor <laughs> lovely so now we have to focus on a room we can either choose the bedroom or the bathroom and I'm thinking the bathroom maybe is the more important room to get done at the moment that toilet definitely needs a fix in there is water going everywhere so we will focus on the bathroom I think oh and there we go that cleans up quite nice doesn't it we've only got a toilet in there at the moment so the home catalogue will help us design decorate and build over on the right hand side Got that yellow arrow again to help us out this is the home catalogue and we have a collection furniture comes in collections in the sims mobile and this is the first collection fresh start there's four different items of furniture within the collection and when you place all of them down you will get a reward so you can see there's a towel a sink a shower and a toilet that we already have so we'll go ahead and place all of them down we'll go for the sink First off, you can change the colours of these as well. You can see there's a colour menu to the side as you go and place them down. Let's go for a shower. And you can see on the shower there, there's some green footprints. And that is the way that the Sims access that piece of furniture. If the footprints are against the wall, so there the footprints are against the wall, the Sim can't access it, you won't be able to place it down. So you need to make sure that the, uh, the footprints are in a place where a sim can get to it. That may be a problem if you're thinking, why can't I put down an item of furniture? That potentially is why. We'll place the shower down, and then you can see at the top the first furniture. We are getting kind of points for that as we place things down. We'll place the last piece down, which is the towel rail. I guess we'll change the color on this, should we? And go for like a pink towel rail. A pink towel, I should say, yeah. We'll go for that. So their first furniture, we've got 150 points there. And we completed the Fresh Start collection. So we've got one of each of the items of furniture in the Fresh Start collection. And our lifestyle has now improved to a fixer up and upper, which is good. This place has potential. We make a great team. I think I hear someone at the door. This looks like Bella. Is this Bella? It is. <laughs> Click on Bella and we need to interact with her. And when we've finished interactions, we get a little tick above the head of our sim to say that we're finished. Hi, I'm Bella. Welcome to the neighbourhood. She's very nice, isn't she? We cleaned up just in time for our first guests. Yeah, so now ask about the house's history or discuss decorating plans. So we have like next to it, it says five seconds. So that is how long the action is going to take and then underneath it's got earn and two social points I assume or like relationship points under there between the two sims I think 
And Bella and Fairy are just sitting having a nice little chat on the sofa there. So it's just kind of guiding us through where we need to go. Whatever the yellow arrow is, that's what we need to do. We can discuss a dream home for five seconds or reveal thrilling backstory. Both of them earn two relationship points. So it doesn't really matter which one you choose. I'm so happy you're turning this house into a home. Oh, Bella's happy for us. To make this our dream home, I'll need a career. So we're going to get a career for fairy dust. And if we click over on the right, on the left, sorry, I saw a help wanted sign in Parkside. So we've got the waterfront downtown Market Square home and Parkside. So let's go to Parkside. I wonder how we unlock those other areas. I assume it will just be by progressing through the game and maybe getting up to a certain level. The cafe is hiring smells like opportunity and coffee. So we can unlock the cafe for free. I think we're going to be a barista. Oh, all these balloons. Let's join the barista career by tapping on the barista station. So what story should we tell? We've only got one option. The way of the latte. A coffee novice discovers being a barista isn't just a daily grind. So I guess we'll go for that one, seeing as that's all we can do. Let's start our shift. So work a shift. We can start the event here. Fairy is starting her first career event. Here we go. Let's use the barista station to make a coffee. So when you are in your career, in your job, there will be pink stars that pop up. That's your actions that you can do. So we need to make a coffee here for five seconds by clicking on that pink star. And this uses energy. You can see that underneath Fairy's face there, we now have 29 out of 30. So whenever you're coming over to do a shift in your job, I would recommend that you definitely always are full up on energy. This looks so cool. These customers look thirsty. So now you can see we've got three pink stars that we can click on and give coffee to a customer. Five seconds and that will earn us 10 hearts. And underneath where it says work is shift next to fairy's face, that is going to fill up with a pink bar. And when that pink bar is full up, that is when the shift is completed. She's cleaning some tables now. That is complete. So you don't actually have to come over and do the shift with her. It will take 30 minutes to do this shift. You can see it just above where it says work a shift. It will take 30 minutes to do this shift, but it's obviously so much faster if you come along and help out. Oh, and there we go. That is shift complete. You see that, that took like less than a minute to do. And we got 30 simoleons and 30 career points by completing that shift. Let's go ahead and collect those rewards. Fairy is now no longer a new brewer. She has been promoted in the barista career, which is excellent. Wow, it's busy. The only thing these customers like more than coffee is a refill. <laughs> oh, here's Ronaldo. Who's this guy? Yeah, I love it though. Coffee is my passion. I did the office job thing for years and I'm way happier here. He's our co-worker. Wow, that's great to hear. Hopefully I'll find it as rewarding as you do. I hope you do too, Fairy. Chapter complete, new brewer. Rise and shine refrigerator unlocked. Excellent. So we unlock objects by completing shifts in a career. Hey, you're a fast learner. I think you might be ready to study latte art. That'll be good. Whoa, really? But latte art makes or breaks the latte drinking experience. That's a lot of power. I think you're ready for the responsibility. Great first shift. Thanks for your help. We're on a roll. Let's head home and improve our kitchen so we can click on a little car icon to go home. And then we'll go, you know what they say, home is where the fridge is. Let's go into the Rise and Shine collection and we'll put the fridge down. This is going to cost 70 simoleons, but that's fine. Again, you can change the colour on it. What will we go for? Let's go for a black. We'll just place it into the corner. Will it fit? Yeah, we'll place it into the corner there. We now have a fridge where Fairy can put her food. Excellent. I think I like it here. It's starting to feel like home. Oh, that's excellent. I've started a list of tasks I'd like to finish every day. 
I really like having daily to-do tasks or lists on games. So off to a great start, level up in a career so we can collect the rewards for that. And then the next one, we have one room to go, finish cleaning up the house. We also need to make the most of the day by completing another event and meet, and meet the neighbours by greeting somebody new. That sounds good to me. So let's go ahead and we'll fix up the bedroom first of all. If we click on finish cleaning up there and oh, oh there we go, beautiful. All nice and clean. We finished another task. So if we go and click on the to-do list, you can see there's a little red number one there that shows us that we've completed one. If we click on that and we'll be able to collect the rewards. Oh, we've leveled up to level two, new rewards and unlocks. So we've got two sim cache, kitchen objects, dining room objects, bedroom objects. We're doing great and there's lots more to explore. Complete tasks, complete tasks every day to get rewards, level up. Finish your to-do list for lots of XP and unlock cool stuff. Gain levels to unlock new clothing, objects, neighbourhoods and more. So our little yellow arrow is telling us to go back into the to-do list and we need to complete another event. Oh, claim your gift. Thanks for playing The Sims Mobile for being one of the first to play after our worldwide launch. Please enjoy these two shirts and fabulous rug free of charge. So if you haven't already got the game, make sure you get it so you can get your free shirts and rug that will only be available. I, I'm assuming they'll only be available anyway at the start of the game. There are people walking around outside, so I figure if we just click on one of them, we can greet them and that will be our meet somebody new element. So if we click on this guy here, his name is Marshall Sun. Let's make a flirty introduction. <laughs> and when that's done, you can just go ahead and click on the tick. We get XP for that. And then we can collect our reward. We get a cupcake for that. The cupcakes instantly fill up the energy of a sim. Here we're going to have a first date at the cafe. Sounds good. Let's start this event. You can continue just to chat to him with all these different interactions but we need to do an event for the daily task so we should go ahead and we should start the event. This event takes place at Parkside. Yes, let's go. As with the career, this date will just go on its own and it will take an hour just to complete by itself but you can obviously help out like you can with the career. It is the same kind of idea with the pink stars above things so let's see what we can do to discuss careers, make a move, make a risky joke. Hmm, all of these take five seconds and the rewards are the same so it doesn't really matter which one we choose. We can also interact with objects on a date as well as clicking on him and talking to him there are various different things around the cafe. We've gone on our first date to work. That's a bit rubbish, but never mind. You can see that Fairy's energy is going down each time she does an interaction, but the pink bar is going up to complete the date as well. There are new actions I can do. Ooh, watch for risky actions. Tell your sim to do normal actions and risky actions will appear. Attempt risky actions. Successful risky actions give way more event points, so give them a try. Confidence is key. Build confidence by doing normal actions to increase the chance of success. Okay, that sounds pretty good. So we must have a risky action here. So, oh, we could recommend a steamy llama latte. It's got a risk bar there and it's quite risky this. So we could continue to do other options, but I feel like we should just go ahead and see what happens. Ooh, is it gonna work? Oh yes, it's worked. We've got a, a green thumbs up there. And that first date is completed. With that risky action, we've filled up the event bar all the way. First date at the cafe reward. We've got five XP, 24 relationship points, and one sim ticket. I had a wonderful time. Wanna see each other again soon? Marshall is keen. Oh, what story should we tell? So there's various different stories. We could do Tainted Love. Oh my goodness. Uh, tainted Love, The Fixer, Upper. Romance and Charity Don't Mix. A secret Crush. Uh, soulmates. Some Love is Meant to Be. 
more than friends with benefits or a missed connection. I feel like fairies shouldn't settle on anything quite so quickly, so maybe we should go with the tainted love. She's only just moved in. I don't think it should be anything other than tainted love. Sizzling passion, prepare to get burnt. Tainted love, slightly toxic sweethearts. Ah. This is kind of sudden, but I'm falling pretty hard for you. Go away, lady. She's inside fairy dust. Go away. <laughs> Me too. When we're together, there's this intensity. I can't stop thinking about you. I wish you'd get lost. <laughs> I don't like it. Is she gonna... She's just... Okay, there we go. She's gone. Okay, so in our to-do list there, it's got one. So it means that we have completed something else. We have completed the event. And that is we've completed all of our daily to-do lists, which is excellent. And we have also leveled up to level three. So two sim cache, living room objects, wall decorations, table decorations. We've got some new clothes as well this time, which is always good. Looking good, I've been thinking, what kind of personality do you think I have? So we can choose personalities. So we have generous, ambitious, foodie, lucky, flirty, and good. Your sims will earn more traits as they progress through life. Pick fairy's first one now. So we've got some that are locked underneath. But I think, I feel like generous maybe is a good one. They've all obviously got different benefits and different advantages. A bit better daily login rewards. I think I'm gonna go with generous. I like the idea of that. And I think on that note, I am gonna end the video here. It has been a very productive first day for Fairy Dust. She's kind of finished up decorating her house. She has had her first shift as a barista and she has gone on a first date. Been an awesome first day in town, hasn't it, for Fairy Dust? <laughs> Let me know if you are playing the game down below and what your thoughts are. Obviously, this is very new into the game and there's a lot more that goes on that we will discover as we go along through this Let's Play. But thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up if you've enjoyed. Subscribe if you're new and I will see you guys soon for a new video. Bye!